digital car jacking. Now, it sounds absolutely amazing, but also extremely scary. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wonder what these guys could do with a phone, an entire house, an office, your bank account. Now, for the Internet of Things to be very successful, a super strong security framework is imperative. And even Apple and Google, two of the largest players in the game, spent billions of dollars on connected solutions and are nowhere near securing the future of our things. Now, who better to take this debate forward than a hacker himself? A hacker who truly believes in the potential of the Internet of everything. Uh, I would say the biggest red flag would be you don't get experts on Internet of Things. The human resources so you're saying availability. That, that the knowledge base to do this right, to do this and that right, is the most critical part of it, for may anything. not just be there. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad we're ending on that note because that's really what my entire point is. Right. Are we ready for something like this? It's going to happen. There's no two ways about it. But are we ready for it is the big thing. I am the country. This is my world. I am the country. This is my world. Hi, I'm Zaket. I'm here to take on the topic of Internet of Things for a very, very heated discussion with Rajiv because he says that it's not important and it's something which I thoroughly, thoroughly disagree. The Internet of Things. You know, the world of technology has one truly bad habit. Really great things are described in the most obtuse and most boring of manners. There was a time when something very intelligent was called fuzzy logic. Now we have something called the Internet of Things. Now I can give you a guarantee. Go and speak to 100 people, 99 will say we have no idea. And when you explain it to them, the first question will be, why would we call it the Internet of Things? Terrible, terrible name, but of course there is somebody with me who doesn't think that. Very excited by the entire idea. I'm going to leave it to you right now to explain to people what according to you is the internet of things? Talking about a layman's perspective, we use the internet today as a, as a source of information. Mm -hmm. It's a normal trend to call that as the internet of information. So when you go to Google, to Wikipedia, to YouTube, you're actually going and accessing information which is essentially made by humans. So you're writing mails, you're clicking pictures, you're recording videos. So there's an upper limit to which humans can produce data over the internet. However, Internet of Things takes producing data and using that data to the next level. Why is that and how is that? You are not restricting creation of data only to humans and you're enabling a device to produce certain amount of data based on the sensors which it has and then be able to use that in an intelligent way so that you get the right kind of a decision and you can optimize the way you can do your logic and decision making. So for you, the Internet of Things is machines talking to machines, taking decisions, sensors and all intelligent other decisions. intelligence built. Absolutely. See, th see, this is what I'm saying. When you talk about machines and intelligent decisions, it's an oxymoron. So use it in the same, at the present moment, sure. in every which way. An intelligent decision taken by a machine has to still be fed by us. The right. sensors must be able to report it. Right. A sensor may be 100% accurate, right. but what it does by sensing that as the next step is still fed by us. A machine taking a wrong decision for you, mm -hmm. 80 machines taking wrong decisions for you right. at the same time, hmm. software glitch, a right. problem with unreliability, sure. could completely destroy your life. See, when you're saying machines will be taking decisions, the first advantage that you get with machines, it's a zero error kind of a thing in the sense. See, I'll tell you why it's zero error. Because you are designing the algorithm with which you know the output will be zero or one. If there is something which is beyond the scope of the machine to decide, it will not operate as simple as that. But if there is something in the if and else loop which falls in that bracket, mm -hmm. you know exactly that this will be the output. The same processing power that if needs to go through a human being, the amount of time, the amount of energy that's wasted is much more. So out here the efficiency, the working goes up. And that's why you know, you've, you've seen the computing powers go up and how that has affected our lives. When you can get machines to talk to machines, Privacy we spoke about is a big factor, right. but privacy of the kind that is intrusive. The cameras that you use to make sure your house is not burgled, if hacked into, 
your privacy can be completely and totally hacked out, right? Absolutely. Can happen and Absolutely. it could even happen with an error, not necessarily somebody trying to hack into it, but a decision taken that transmit this, you know, two people that have just got together, have entered their bedroom, transmit those images onto the U uh, YouTube and make a really good sure. video. Or a nuclear reactor. Okay. Part of the machine of things. Absolutely. Right? It will be part of machine to machine. We have heard about a virus that actually may have been used Stuxnet, in a place like right? right? Okay. Imagine that kind of control mm -hmm. with a hacking community of 16 year olds who think it would be real fun to just press that red button. Absolutely, Rajiv. So, firstly, to add to what you said, I mean, see, I come from a background of security, so I, I understand the concerns. You know, there's this search engine called Shodan, mm -hmm. which doesn't search for data, it searches for devices on the internet. Right. So if you go and search for web cameras, it will give you a lot of open web cameras mm. which you can just go and access right. without any passwords. When you talk about, you know, hackers getting an access of nuclear, we, we saw Stuxnet, we saw absolutely. Flame. That's absolutely possible, Rajiv. Today, if we lock ourselves out, saying that we are not to go to that level of evolution because these challenges exist, it it just doesn't work. It's about risk management today. Embracing technology and saying we better stop. I mean, I love technology, but I am not averse to the problems it has, right? right. I'm not blind to them at all. Yeah. But there are things where you say, oh, I can't stop using a smartphone because it might get hacked. End of the day, it's going to be contacts and a few pictures of mine. Right. This is not contacts and a few pictures. This goes above and beyond. There is usually a time not to stop evolution of technology and there is usually a time to say let's just sit back and think what we are about to do. Isn't this one of those times to take it a little easy, take a breather, think about this before we go all wild with machine to machine. So the internet of things as an idea came by this guy called Kevin Ashton right. in 1999. It's been 15 years that people have been talking about... But technology of... wasn't ready. I don't think the, the reason it we It is have still not ready. Exactly. That's the point. Right. I agree on that part. But aren't we on the cusp now where Absolutely. things are starting to talk to each other? Yes. Absolutely. So you see, Cisco predicts there will be 50 billion connected devices. Gartner says 30 billion connected they all, devices. They're, they're all looking at it in terms of the amount of money that can be made off this, right? Yeah, 15 it's a trillion, trillion dollar, dollar 15 market. 15 trillion dollars. Right, I mean, that's, exactly. that's, so they, they they, they, that's what they're excited about. No, but then the money can only be made only when people are using that product at a generic customer level like you, me, and everybody sitting out here. Right. So the, the second point which I'll make out here is, now when you said that, Saket, the person who's designing that algorithm which gives you the decision is in no context to be caught liable right. if the if the if the solution decision is, if, yeah. if the mm -hmm. decision is not correct right. i would i would you know i would not agree to that in a complete way i'll give you a small example when an iphone operating system developer sits out there and makes a slight change in the user experience of the iphone it's me who is using the iphone right the no. classic there, if it's not good, the consumer won't use it. That's what you're that's, saying? That's, that's yeah, see, right. but see this, is, this is the whole point. The seduction of technology. I mean, are you saying that there are no dissatisfied Apple customers right now that have gone and bought another Apple phone? But, but still, that the Apple fanboy army, I mean, are we forgetting about the fact that there are people that are seduced by either the brand or the that's promise true, of Rajiv, the brand but or the, the brand time, promise at technology? At the same time, if Apple would have taken my credit card details and it would be there lying in some other place where that kind of a damage, it has made a dent on my privacy, I would never subscribe to an Apple next time. So, you're so when the Sony, uh, the, the PS3 system got hacked, right. they lost how many people and how many came back? A, cu a, cu a couple of million people. Yes, and how many came back? I mean, are they at the present moment lower than that base or higher? Yeah, they're higher than so, that. So the whole point of it is that at this present moment, the seduction of technology right. is higher mm -hmm. than the failure rate and people walking away because of that. And this is the most seductive technology mankind has ever, ever heard, heard of. of. Absolutely. So exactly. I'm saying failure will not necessarily be the filter for people to stop using it. Let's do the hand on your heart sure. thing. Okay. <laughs> Before we make the greatest screw up ever, mm -hmm. isn't it time to get a few things, the technology, the policies, the law and a escape plan from the machine to machine all in place before we go ahead. Hand on your heart, yes, this is happening and it's happening in a very, very rapid pace. 
And one of the major challenges that people are facing is firstly not having the human resources to understand this technology Correct. itself. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see that there is absolutely no course which actually goes ahead and gives you a very siloed approach to this particular... You're going to get smacked you know, in the face. <laughs> you're going to get smacked to the face. And bad, right? For a person like you who's, of course, so euphoric about this entire thing, right. in a sentence or two, sure. the red flags that you see. So, when you talk about problems out here, I would say... First is, of course, the privacy of the data because okay, it's going privacy. on the cloud, so nobody knows where it's going. Secondly, the integrity of the amount of data which is going out there, that whether the data which is being produced and sent is actually authentic or Correct. not, becomes a big problem. When you talk about devices, you know, especially when there are sensors, so with the sensor on my bat is powered by a battery, the, in order to ensure the, the security of the data, it has to encrypt. To encrypt, you need large processing power. It's so these possible. are the very geeky ones. I mean, do you have a red flag which is more personal and emotional? Uh, about Internet of Things, the biggest, uh, I would say the biggest red flag would be you don't get experts of Internet of Things. The human resources so you're saying availability. That, that, that the knowledge base to do this right, to do this and that right is the most is critical part of it, for may anything. not just be there. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad we're ending on that note because that's really what my entire point is. Right. Are we ready? or something like this. Sure. It's going to happen. There's no two ways about it, but Absolutely. are we ready for it is the big thing. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank great, so great much. conversation. Lovely. And of course, that then is the Internet of Things. Now, I have one last piece of advice to all you people who are creating the Internet of Things. Can you please change the name? I mean, the phrase itself is a disaster start. Don't call it machine to machine. Don't call it Internet of Things come up with a better name. That will be the better start. Then we'll do everything else that we discussed. We'll see you next week on The Contrary. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.